Their bus crashed en route to the Apple Cup one year ago. There was glass in my mouth and in my hands, in my hair. But these UW students are still on the road to recovery. I fractured my spine in two places. Only with Cairo 7, for the first time they share their struggles and the changes they're fighting for. You shouldn't like um, put money over safety. It was Thanksgiving Day 2018 when a bus carrying members of the Husky Marching Band crashed on Interstate 90. Now, three students who were on board sat down with Cairo 7's Lindsay Sheldon to share what they say needs to change to keep this from happening to anyone else. We were like, oh my God, what just happened? Where did we like, are we okay? Did, did someone die? Are we, are we alive? Are we here? It was November 22nd, 2018. This was the chaos on I-90 near the town of George. I smelled smoke and wasn't sure if it was going to explode or not. Members of the Husky Marching Band were climbing out of this charter bus and lying on the ground after being thrown through windows. We landed on barbed wire and there was glass everywhere. Alexia Brown, Monica Mersch, and Jacob Kareen never dreamed their Thanksgiving would end with some of them in the hospital. All three were on their way to Spokane to perform during the Apple Cup. Alexia played alto saxophone. Music has been a part of my life for a very long time, and it just brings me a lot of joys. Monica, too, and Jacob, baritone horn. Music's who I am as a person. The road trip started with excitement. Very optimistic. Um, of course, we didn't think anything would go wrong. People start talking about it, being like, oh, look, there's snow outside. Then, Alexia says, they felt the bus rock from side to side. I just look out through the windshield and I see our headlights illuminating the snow. It just really, we're moving at a 45 degree angle towards a fence, which is sliding towards it. The bus smashed through the fence and started to roll. While the bus is rolling over, I thought, oh my God, I'm going to die. Her friend survived. Alexia was taken to the hospital. I fractured my spine in two places. Yeah, I... Monica had a broken collarbone. I'm in a lot of pain, but like I didn't see my shoulder bleeding, so I wasn't really sure what was going on. Jacob had a big bruise on his side that made it difficult to walk. In the days and weeks afterward, the Wazoo Marching Band played the Huskies fight song, and Jacob and Monica rallied to perform at the Rose Bowl. I'm doing this for my friends. Like, this is why I care about. This is for them. And for all the people that couldn't, like, perform no more or anything, like, I'm doing this for them. But the road to recovery has been much longer than the trek to Pasadena and back. Jacob has left the band, though he still plays elsewhere. Monica is still in band despite pain in her back and her own fears. I still get scared like on a charter bus and even like on other boards of transportation like planes too is still hard as well. You envision what could go wrong? Yeah. But Alexia has stopped playing altogether. I went and saw an orthopedic surgeon and he told me that I have a spine of a 50 year old. I have degenerative disc disease and um, I may need steroid injections in the future. She is focusing on recovery and rehab. My life is, it just devastated me. It just shifted my life and the path I was taking dramatically. Um, I just, I just wish it was different. The report from the Washington State Patrol suggests it could have been different. This lawsuit filed by Jacob, Monica, and Alexia's attorney cites troopers who found the bus's driver was driving too fast for the conditions. And it accuses the driver and the bus company, MTR Western, of negligence. I am very upset this could happen because after it happened, I feel like it could have been like prevented. In addition to safer driving, they say that means seatbelts for all passengers. I just wish that it would be a state mandated law for all vehicles to have seat belts. Well, just the buses especially. As Jacob, Monica, and Alexia wait for the lawsuit to work its way through court, they are also turning their eyes to state legislators, demanding stricter regulations on transportation companies. What would you want to say to those lawmakers? 
I just want them to envision their child being in this situation because it could happen to anyone. I didn't think it would happen to me, but it did. I reached out to MTR Western multiple times by email and phone, but no one ever returned my messages. Under federal regulations from 2016, all new tour buses have to be equipped with seatbelts, but existing buses are not required to be retrofitted with seatbelts. Troopers say the bus that crashed in this case was a 2007 model.